Well, I just spent the last 30 minutes trying to figure out why my mic wasn't working just to find out that I didn't have it, the little button pushed to turn it on. So that's how things are going for me today. But the interesting thing I've seen is this. Florida's invasive Jesus Christ lizard could be harmful to people, environment. Now, I look at articles like this and I'm automatically skeptical. Always skeptical. And the reason is because they turn everything into this big, like, everyone's going to die thing. You know, everyone is, uh, everyone, everything is at risk. Everything is the worst case scenario. Um, you know, the, the invasive species in Florida are all going to destroy humanity or destroy the ecosystem. Yet we let feral cats roam the earth and very few people ever care. And then you get people who are like, oh my god, the iguanas are destroying everything, but uh, feral cats are fine. I, I literally have people in my comment section telling me how um, feral cats are not an issue whatsoever, and the animals get used to them, and it's, you know, yes, people are the problem, obviously. But feral cats have no, no issues whatsoever, they don't do anything. But I read into this, because I'm like... Well, what could these guys do? I've caught these guys before. They're everywhere down in South Florida. And I'm like, well, to me, you know, a small lizard compared to an iguana, they get about a foot long, roughly. And they're really cool. They run in the water and they live right near the water. So what are they doing? They're eating bugs and stuff. Okay. Well, here's what it says. Besides them being escape pets, um... Gioli said brown basilisks are carnivores and they feed on insects, including invasive mosquitoes, which also bite the lizards. There's ongoing research on the potential for basilisks ugh, to host, to be host for these mosquito-borne illnesses and diseases. So there's a possible human health impact there too. That's it. That's what this article is about. Is that the Jesus Christ lizard? Why do they, they have to add the Christ? Is it just called the Jesus Lizard? Never heard it called the Jesus Christ Lizard. Um, yeah, basically it says it gets bit by mosquitoes, so it might um, have mosquito-borne illnesses and affect people. You go back, and like every single one of them are just a regurgitation of the same thing. Same pictures. So there's a video of one running. Including mosquitoes, which also bite the lizard. It's literally word for word the exact same article from a different place. So there's human health impact there. They eat native butterflies and native lizards. The only native lizard that they could potentially eat is the green anole. And the brown anoles outcompete them and you never say anything about that. So I don't want to hear it. This is just a fluff piece trying to demonize another animal that really doesn't have any impact whatsoever. It's just another reason, honestly, in my opinion, it's another reason for, um, yeah, the, these are all coming out right now. I believe they're doing stuff like this to scare people so that they want to get rid of the pet trade altogether. And so FWC can make rules and people are like, oh, I heard they were carrying mosquito-borne illnesses and can make you sick. Every animal can do that. When was the last time we had a, fuck, uh, a malaria outbreak here in Florida? What are you talking about mosquito-borne illnesses? We have so many mosquitoes as it is, so you're telling me that a lizard that lives near the water, that runs on water, that eats mosquitoes as well, that lizard is going to cause everybody to get sick because of mosquito-borne illnesses. Or there's a potential. What about your freaking dog or cat? I, it doesn't make any sense. We don't have an issue. Yeah, mosquitoes are annoying. Yeah, in parts of the world, they can cause deadly diseases. Absolutely. But you're telling me that this lizard that is really only found in South Florida is going to be the reason that people are going to get sick? It's a fluff piece to get people to be afraid of all these invasive species and to get lawmakers and FWC an excuse to enact stricter laws on animals because 
Well, the, the, these guys down here in South Florida, these, no, the iguanas, oh, the iguanas are ruining the banks and causing erosion. Yeah, taking out, um, what are they called? Uh, I can't even think of the mangroves. Taking out mangroves along the shoreline will do the same thing, but you build condos regardless. You put up a seawall. The rich people are ticked off because along the seawalls, there's iguanas that are digging their nests, and that is what, oh, it's going to cause erosion. Yeah, okay. You don't care unless it affects you. These basilics aren't doing anything. That Like, they, they literally, they've been here for years. No one said a single word. But all of a sudden now, they might carry diseases. From mosquitoes, which people get bit by all the time. Every animal gets bit by mosquitoes. We don't have malaria here in South Florida. We don't have, you know, all these, all these other diseases. Could there be potential? Yeah, maybe. But there's not outbreaks of this stuff. They're trying to scare people so that they can pass laws. And that's all it is. That's the only reason you hear about it. And this particular lizard is found all over the place in South Florida. Like every single body of water you come across. Like There's just a bunch of these articles coming out. Okay, I already clicked on that one. Okay, here's another one from Jackson. This is from a Jacksonville newspaper. Uh, from... From the Keys to Gainesville. I've never seen one in this part of Florida. Sure, there might be a lake or two. I, They're really only prevalent in South Florida. And they'll die out. Because it gets too cold in Gainesville for them to be there long. Uh, gaining granite costs. Let's... Lizards are prevalent. Okay, is this just hanging the same thing? Right now, the limited report sightings and Ed maps beside him. We know the back. Treasure Coast, and we've seen them northward and west. He added uh, sporadic reports, exactly. This one doesn't really say. Mosquitoes prefer to feed on non native lizards. The brown basilisks are among five identified non native lizards that have potentially served as significant host for West Nile virus. What? Okay, so as of February 2023, more than 160 specimens have been collected and recorded. Blah, blah, blah. And that's all it says, is that they're looking into it. They're just trying to scare people. That's all it is. That's all it is. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, what do you think about this? Let me know your thoughts below, especially if you're from Florida. Or I mean, if you're not from Florida, a lot of states are doing this kind of stuff too. But what do you think? Do you think I'm wrong? Or do you think they have legitimate, you know, worries about this stuff? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks very much.